Honestly, what better way to start a video than doing some wishes? And as we discovered in the last video, it doesn't even show us what our last five star was on the standard banner. So I just want to do this first because if we get a five... Okay, wow, um, Gene Chi Chi? Oh, oh, we finally got a Gene? Well, like I was saying, I wanted to do these wishes first because if we got lucky and got a five star, it might change our plans for the day. Okay, well, that's not changing any plans. Ooh, a second four star, though. A sword. No. And last wish is blue. Okay, this this changes things. I'm so glad I ended up not doing those wishes on stream because people wanted me to, and I almost did. I just had this feeling that we were going to be getting a five star. It, no, I'm not psychic or anything. But speaking of me maybe being psychic, if you're watching this video right now, then I'm going to take a wild guess and say that you like video games. I know, I know you probably think I'm a psychic right about now. I cannot confirm nor deny that accusation, but what I can tell you is that I know a game you can play, and my magic eight ball says you're going to love it. It's Raid Shadow Legends. By now, you've almost definitely heard of Raid before, and for good reason. It's completely free to play, and I genuinely think it's one of the games of all time. Right now, there's a Valentine's Day event going on, where if you download Raid from the link below, copy your player ID, and enter it over at raidlovequest.plurium.com, you'll have a chance to win in-game and real-life prizes like a $1,000 Amazon gift card. Returning players can still head over to the same website to find a promo code for a Valentine's-themed gift on your account. Alongside some Valentine's-themed activities and new champions, there's also events like Forge Pass Season and 7, the 4th Anniversary Titan event, and a Prime Gaming drop featuring Genbo the Dishonored until March 2nd. Now just for you guys, I even compiled a list of the top 5 places to play Raid Shadow Legends for maximum enjoyment. Number 1. On a boat in the middle of... Wait, where the heck am I? Number 2. In the library. I'm summoning to get a legendary champion right now, so I can't be too left. <gasps> Number 3. In a restaurant. The only thing on the menu for me are some victories in the arena. Number 4. In the sky. Yeah, I don't really know how you get here, but if you do end up here, then by all means, play some raid. Number 5. In Paris. You see that giant spike of metal behind me? Well, I don't, because I'm too busy saving the world in Raid Shadow Legends. Now that you know where to play, you should also know that new players can use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with all of this amazing loot. So go download Raid Shadow Legends for free today with the link in the description and let me know where you'll be playing the game. Big thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. I know we already have a big problem where we're not really building characters that well, but think about it. One side of the abyss could be Bennett and Gene now. We could get a little bit of a Sunfire team going. But of course, if we're going to use Gene, we kind of need a good weapon for her. And there is a sword that you can get from Inazuma. I'm not entirely positive on the process, but I'm hoping we can do that. First things first, we need to find a bulletin board in this area. That looks like a bulletin board. Is this what I want? Missing per- yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Wait, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't give me anything. Am I, am I supposed to get something from that? I am looking for a man who goes by Simon Katsumi. Have any of you seen him? Oh, oh, wait, wait. There he is. I found him. Now we got to go talk to Ishikawa in the Kujo encampment. And of course, don't ask how I know all this. I'm just incredibly intelligent and happen to know all of this off the top of my head. I would never use something like a, a guide. No, no, I couldn't. Oh, Ishikawa. Hello. Wait. Is he supposed to do something? Maybe, maybe not, but now I'm just gonna go find a random dude named Ono, and I'm gonna talk to him. Let's hope you give me something a little bit better to work with. Oh no, he didn't give me anything. <laughs> I, I had to do it. You can't make the dude's name oh no and expect me to not make that joke. There is one more guy that I need to find. Are you the guy all up here alone? Nope, you don't have a name. Kind of funny that some of them don't have names. It's like they were born and their parents are like, son, you're going to be an NPC someday, so you're not going to get a name from us. Only the main characters get names in this world. Where is this guy? I've been bamboozled. My guide, I, I mean my in intellect, tells me that he's in the Kujo encampment. But in fact, he's not. He's over here. Unbelievable. Yep, would you look at that? I don't know if there's a quest line I'm supposed to be following or if you're just supposed to know what to do after talking to all these people. Oh, wait. Wait, where'd the dude go? Sir, where'd Saemon go? For being as old as he looks, he moves pretty quick. Aha, can't escape me this time. Wait, my only option is to say I'm still working on it? Huh? Oh. Now, see, for, see, for this part, I was using a guide because at the, at the top of the guide, it says these steps are 
not necessary, but can be done to gain context. Yeah, we could just we could just blame the guide for that one. But uh, now I'm going to do it without a guide, which of course means I'm going to have to do a little bit of the Sakura cleansing. Everyone's favorite quest line, of course. From what I gather, we don't have to do all of this. We just have to make it to a certain point of which I don't know where that is. Don't worry, guys. I'm getting somewhere. I just got to find wherever the last mysterious shadow is hiding. I don't know how. But I actually remembered that she was up here from doing this on my main like over a year ago. I mean, I'll take it. Now we just take the ward from here. Come back to the well because apparently I never picked up the rust worn key. Come into this room. Now I can get all the stuff that I need. Then we go back to the abandoned shrine. We pray at this little shrine. Fend off the big scary samurai man. Spam through dialogue as fast as humanly possible. Then we gotta talk to a statue. Kill a couple hillichurls. Break a barrel. Play hide and seek Light with this little guy. Hide and Light seek some more. Talk to the statue Struggle again. With the puzzle because Finally, had a different get off the another samurai. Into the Kamisato estate. Fox. Go to the island. Another, another fox. 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 This and and some some more foxes. Take the war from here. Again. Another fox. Another one. Fight. Another samurai. Another samurai. this door. Open this chest. And then we finally i hope get the there it is the blueprint and two hours later we're still not able to craft it give me just one second no. three i barely got two from any of them now that one gives me three the last one that i need i don't know why i'm surprised that's kind of exactly how my luck tends to work but now very very much later we can finally go ahead and craft up this sword there we go now i'm sure you guys are gonna have a field day down in the comments telling me who the best character to put that sword on is but for now it's going on Jean. It can help regenerate energy. It has the attack percent substat, which boosts her healing. Seems like a pretty good weapon to give her. Oh, and apparently I finished chapter seven. It took me that long to finish chapter seven. On the bright side, we get all of this stuff for free now. I literally finished all of chapter eight before chapter seven was finished. What about chapter nine? Oh, look, more free stuff. So all I have to do is beat Storm Terror once. And then we're done with chapter nine. Now, I don't know what our teams are going to look like here. Because I feel like this is definitely going to be a team for one side of the abyss. And then I don't, I don't know. There's like, there's this, there's this, or any variation of these. But I feel like it would be a mistake not to bring Jean on one of the sides. So let's just see how far we can bring her up here. And it would appear we've already hit a little bit of a barrier. Not to worry, though. My resin's been kept since I started recording this episode. Can we get through? Three to drop? No. It was at least worth a shot. Oh, Kazuha hit friendship level 10. It's funny that he did that just as we got another animo character. I guess this is just going to turn into how many of these can I get from farming. And I guess while we wait for that to respawn, we can go take on level three of this. It's going to be a uh, real difficult, but this will finish up another chapter in the book, which means more primo gems that I don't need to spend right now, but it's just nice to have them. Okay. Uh, I haven't hit it yet and it's lost a ton of HP already. I don't, I'm not even going to use Xing Chou because it'd be pointless. Definitely not collecting the drops, but I will be collecting this and this. Oh, and that's it. That is the final chapter. Animal hypostasis has not even respawned yet. I'm to stall a little bit more. We have three more acquaint fates from ascending gene and also finishing chapters in the book. We'll see if we can maybe get a four star sword or a constellation for someone like Xing Cho because he's only, I think, C1. But we will not be seeing that here. Listen up, you wind speed boss. Uh, three drops this time, okay? Three drops. Not two, but three drops. No, you're not understanding. How much can we actually bring up the sword? I'm going to assume it's not as much as I would like it to be, especially because we're going to run out of the weapon up powering material thingies. We have enough of the hand guards, the hand cannons, and I think the problem is just going to be the coral reef. Did you know that if you double click this really fast, you can pop it up twice? What are you going to do with this information? Nothing. Okay, remember when I said we had enough handguards? Yeah, I would like to rephrase that. We don't have enough handguards, but through the power of crafting, we might be able to have just enough. You know, we are able to get this a lot higher than I thought we'd be able to. Oh, 
I actually can craft enough. We just need six famed handguards and I have none of those, but we can craft those as well. I'm pretty happy with getting this up to level 80 if we can. Oh, very nice. Up to level 80 from level one is pretty good, especially for me. And if I do a ton of crafting, I may just be able to get enough to max it. We need four of this thing, 17 of these, and then we need 12 famed handguards, but Sucrose will give me one extra. Two extra. Okay, very nice. And just like that, we can max out the sword. There go all of our weapon enhancement materials. Here's the thing. We could run Viridescent on Jean, and that works. But if I'm running her on the same team as Kazu, which I don't know if that's a really stupid idea, but I'm thinking it could work, then I would rather have no bless on her, unless we're running her with Bennett, who will already have no bless. But let's see what we can get from some no bless strong boxes. All right, so a bit of crafting later. Let's see what we got. I mean, a lot of this is going to come down to how each of these rolls. Oh, flat defense off to a great start. Oh, I like that. This is a different artifact than the last one. I swapped to the other flower because obviously the flat defense. These are all of the stats that we want. So while I don't want this to roll poorly, even if it does, I think we can still use it. Okay, ER, ER is okay, because I think I'm going to use an attack percent sans, but let's try to get some of the, uh, the attack percent, or maybe even crit. We don't need the crit. It's just nice to see crit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to power these up, because I'm probably running out of materials already. Survey says, more ER. Oh, we are out of material. Don't ask how I powered it up, but, uh, oh... More, more ER. I Yeah, we could definitely do an attack percent sans now. And this one looks kind of nice. I don't know if it looks quite as nice anymore. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not a fan of all this flat attack. But well, once we can actually level some stuff up here, I'm sure it'll look better. Also, highly depends on what team we use her in. Because since we're using an attack percent sword on her, we probably should do an ER sans. But if we use her with Kazuha, then I don't think it's as big of an issue. Three drops, not two. Three. Thank you. The game finally listened. So now we can go ahead and ascend Jean up for the third time. I have also been working on trying to get Cookie ascended again because then her EM can scale a little bit higher. It's just a matter of, like these are easy. These are annoying, but we could still get him. I don't know about these though. We could just start stealing from Albedo. I don't see anything wrong with that. Sorry about that Albedo, but you see Cookie kind of needs him. And all of this is also draining our bank account. I'm going to have to start farming ley lines again for Mora. All right, we 100% cannot max Cookie out in this episode because I'm not going to have enough of the LUPs, but we can at least ascend her. Though it's going to take a while if I keep just getting common drops from these guys. All we need now are two more Naku weeds. I'm realizing now we've spent so much of this episode in Inazuma, but we are now good. We can max ascend and spend even more of our Mora. I'm not even going to bother attempting to level her up. And now I would love to go around and farm artifact domains, but I feel like I should be a good little Genshin player and instead go farm some ley lines because otherwise I'm not going to be able to level up any of these characters. Now ley lines aren't exactly the most exciting thing in the world. They're more of a necessary evil. I just realized though that this means we're only missing one sword character on the account. And funnily enough, it's Chi Chi, the character that almost everybody seems to get on their account. Can we see three for the last one? Oh, oh, oh. And three? We don't talk about the artifact, but that's really good. I don't even remember the last time that I saw one of those drop from a boss. New me, new day. Well, the same day. Nope, the different day, same me. We have a little bit of resin again and talent. Nope, that's not how you look. Talent domains are open for her today. Since we currently have an ongoing event that doubles the drops for non-condensed resin for the first three times that you farm these domains per day, I figure we'll do this and then we can continue farming the bosses another day. And I'm just realizing this is the place with no stamina stamina because I can't use my stamina. That is a telltale sign that you're in the domain that doesn't allow the use of stamina. Have I ever mentioned that I really don't like this domain? Well, if not, this is the perfect time for me to tell you I really don't like this domain. Lightning fast speed completion. Uh, ignore the time on the screen. That's a lie. We use original resin so we can get double drops and we love to see the gold. Collection number two. 
Another gold. We'd love to see it. It would probably be really smart to bring Layla into this domain because she has a shield and it's a cryo shield, which means it's more resistant against cryo. But this is the last time I'm going to be farming this domain for the day. Well, I may have to restart now. Why is it that when I'll hate them uses his burst, it sounds like he says unko, which in Japanese means poop? I find it very hard to believe that he's saying who well actually you know what he does use poopa to ascend and in polish poopa means butt so i guess it's not that far out of the realm of possibilities ah easy he's so easy i didn't even need a healer mm, ignore the time again hey another gold can't be mad about that and i guess i kind of lied because i am going to fight the animal hypostasis again it'd be a really good idea to farm some artifacts so we could at least power up the ones that gene is using but you guys should know by now i very rarely do the smart thing so there's drops number one oh chunk plus three i think this is my new favorite boss in the game because it actually gives us good stuff okay i probably should have seen this coming i had enough artifacts to power up her feather once and it went into the one stat that i didn't want to get putting that aside though let's collect up the second batch of drops nothing too great this time but still three so by crafting up two of the chunks we should be able to ascend up gene another time and now we are really starting to run out of materials well as always i have a ton of grinding that i need to do between episodes so i hope you guys did enjoy and with that being said i'll see you guys next time